Hi folks, welcome to another cash card video. Um, today, as you may have read from the title, we're going to do an upgrade or a replacement for the front speakers. Now, like I say, you can see this is an upgrade or a replacement. Maybe your speakers are broken and you need to get to them to put some new ones in, or maybe you're going to upgrade yours. Um, these are pretty cheap, I'm going to be honest. I'm not expecting anything spectacular, but they should be an upgrade to what the standard ones are. Obviously, if you've got the Bose system, so like a subwoofer in your boot, and I think it's a Bose on the um, on the speaker grills in your car. If you've got that, I don't think you're really gonna be able to upgrade them any better. You might be able to spend a lot of money, but these were only, I got this for 16 pound off Amazon, because you can see they're from Amazon oh. Warehouse, which is like the returns thing. So these have been returned, apparently box open, um, they look in pretty good nick. I've had them open already to double check. They look untouched to me. So maybe someone accidentally ordered them and sent them back. Um, I think if you get them brand new on Amazon, when I last looked, they were still just under 20 pounds, which is a bitty bargain. Um, then the price may go up or down. So just for reference, as you can see on the front, these are Pioneer TS G170Fs. Now the 17 part is the 17 centimeter speakers because that's the size you need. That's the important bit. You need to make sure that if you're replacing your speakers that they are 17 centimeters which is also i think is it 6.5 inch i think it is or six and a quarter inch i think it's six and a quarter inch uh yeah something like that but yeah that's what you need so let's get these unboxed uh, and then we'll go down to the car i'll show you how to get the door card off and access them because unfortunately unlike my old i used to have a peugeot 306 as my first car and the speaker grill on that, you just popped it off and the speaker was there, dead easy to change. Whereas on the cash card, unfortunately, we need to get the whole door card off. So let's get this unboxed and see what's included in the packaging. So let's get these opened up and see what we get inside. So straight away you can see here, we've got a couple of speaker wires with the terminals already on the end. Um, there's always one wider terminal and one thin one for your positive and negative so you can't mix them up and also the wires have got just white and then a black stripe on the wires. I've just got two of them for two speakers. Also got a pack of mounting um, screws and adapters in case you wanted to, um, I think it's if you wanted to put them onto a different sized uh, speaker grill. So hopefully we won't need those. We'll be able to use this, the screws that hold the current speakers in all being well. Because as you should you should see, um, they come with a lot of different holes. I mean, you can see it on the picture. There's loads of different holes that should fit on any car. So open it out, slide them out. Bosh, the box out of the way. So here's the two speakers. Now these come with some pretty nice looking grills on them, which unfortunately we're not going to use. Um, we may have space to leave them on, but at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to see them um, behind the car, behind the door cards, so it's kind of pointless leaving them on. But that's what they'd look like with the nice Pioneer logo um, and the four mounting screws. If we were going to use them, I don't think we are, so unfortunately they won't be used. But there's the two speakers. All right, there we go. So like I said, you can see all the different mounting holes all the way around it. So we should find that these just go straight in. Moving on to the back. There's the two terminals that we set about with these wires. We've got one small one, one large one. There we go. As for the specification of these, rather than to get the box, there we go, you can see it there. It's the 280 watt max um, with a four ohm impedance, 40 watt nom. I'm not sure what that gets actually, is that nominal? Um, we'll see, I don't actually know at this point, this is obviously before I've started the job, what the size of, uh, what the specification of the speakers are as standard in the Qashqai. Hopefully on the back of the speakers, like with these, we'll be able to see what they are, so we'll see what sort of upgrade we're getting. So, yeah, that's what's in the box. Um, let's head down to the car and start the job. So, to remove the door card, uh, we're going to need to remove the parts of the door first. So we need to remove this trim here. I don't know if you can see me or not in the screen at the moment. Uh, we need to remove this trim here, first of all. So, it's ideal to use a plastic pry tool or something. Unfortunately, I haven't got any. Um, so I'm going to use a flat screwdriver, but if you want to get a pry tool set, I'll put a link below um, to Amazon for you to get one. So let's get this off.
And once that's off, you've got one, two, three, ten millimeter bolts, or you can use Phillips heads as well. But I was much rather use um, the ten millimeter bolt. Point out the longest one, the black one, is at the top, and the two silver ones are at the bottom. That then gives us access. have a 10 millimeter bolt just here. I need to undo that one next, another long black one. Okay, so at this point, uh, all of the screws and fixings that you need to remove are removed, are done. Um, it's a case of just getting the whole card now off of the door. Um, it's held on with small clips all the way around the outside, which um, you just need to feel your way around the edge and feel it just popping away from the, the metal of the door itself. And then afterwards, you just need to lift it up, which I'll do now. So I think that's all of the clips I'm done. It's now sort of hanging from the door as you can see. So I just need to take it up, sort of up and away from the metal. difficult clip for them which this one here on the door handle you can see it's one each side that's the door card off so here you can now see we've got access to this speaker the actual connection is on the outside they used to put them on the inside of the uh, door and it connect around the back but on this one it goes on the outside so we'll see how that's going to work in regards to the new one so it's got quite a big bracket around it but again let's get it off and then we can go and play with it see how we can get it to work with the new one now again it's just 10 millimeter bolts it's there undone we should undo this little uh, plug that holds that is the connection for it push that in pull how it pops and then you may find it's got a little bit of adhesive holding the speaker in so you might just need to give it a little bit of just to pull it out and there we go one speaker removed so let's get this back inside now and uh, see what we can do with the new one hello well welcome to this edit <laughs> you can have a go at me if you like uh, i didn't realize that you need speaker ring adapters to fit on the cash guy i didn't do enough research my fault i'll take the hit i literally just ordered them off amazon um funny enough they're the same price as the speakers but on the plus side they come with 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 the terminals ready to connect so um, I will put a link below um, so to be fair yeah you're paying 16 90 I think it was and it comes with the the rings with the gap obviously in the middle and the holes for you to put your new speakers in it also comes with wires that will fit onto these terminals the big and small terminals and then it will that it turns that 
uh, those wires into that plug so it will be so much easier i highly recommend it i'll be honest with you i stood here thinking you know what i could cut these up and you know make it fit through here but i don't want to to be honest um, i want to be able to i want it to be as factory as possible so i'm gonna have to pause it for now as such obviously not for you guys you'll see me in a few seconds and it'll be tomorrow hopefully when they get delivered through amazon prime um, and then we'll crack on so yeah sorry about that there'll be a link below um, and we'll crack on tomorrow okay so it's day two now um, <laughs> managed to get these delivered from amazon this is the pack like i said i'll put a link below um, it's going to make the job a heck of a lot easier though um, so included in this pack is two of these wires and you can see the connectors are ready to go which will make it a lot easier so back of the car let's get this out So, here's the adapter ring. It's gonna go on like so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, the same screws that we're holding the old one, the old speaker in. So we use the same screw. do is this wire here that did used to go to the side of the plug is now going to go behind so what I'm going to do is tuck it back down the hole it comes out of just to poke out here so there we go that's that I'm just going to get that wire now that came with this set so this is where it's going to be a lot easier um, because the, the plug's already ready to go. So I'm just angle you down a bit. There we go. See, so yeah, this plug is just going to go straight into the old plug. Like. So it's so much easier than having to rewire it myself. Get that one out of the way. So yeah, just leaves us with those two plugs which will go on to the new speaker which we should go and fetch now so here we go then so we've got the new speaker you can't get this bit wrong because like I say the two terminals are actually different sizes it's a small and a large so the small to the small just push that over the connection give it a wobble And snug. Same with the other side. Just actually, very tight. So it's worth noting. I may need to uh, adjust this slightly. If you can just see that, only just. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and just open this one up a little bit so uh, sorry I wasn't able to catch that on camera so what I did is use the minus head screwdriver just to open this one up a bit um, and then I just managed to wiggle it on it's on there quite nicely now as you can see uh, let's just get that other side fully on there we go so now like I said with this plug it's going to be a heck of a lot easier get the existing loom Bit a bit low, there we go. Existing loom and only goes in one way. Oops. Quite hard to do this. I need an extra pair of hands. There we go. So that, once that's in. Move you around so you can see how we're looking. There we go, that's how it's going to be. And what we're going to need to do is use the screws that came with this set. You can see they line up. It's a case of turning it until the holes might line up, which there we go, we've got one, two, oops, three, and four by my thumb just here. It's like 
like I say, the screws that came with it, we're going to use them, which are little plus head screws or Phillips screws. I'm just going to finger tighten one of them in so it holds its place. Uh, thinking what's the best mounting point or hole to use. That one. Right, so yeah, can I go with that one? It's going to be interesting to see what sort of vibration, if anything, if any, we get from these. Um, because there's no foam on this kit, so it's losing the screw. Yeah, there's no foam backing to these plastic adapters. So, uh, that's going to be interesting how that does. Should have had a screwdriver ready here. So I'm just going to test them now, um, I'm going to have to mute the video I'm afraid because I haven't got any uh, copyright free music, or well, I'll do, I'll skip it. So, so yeah, they're all good, there's actually no vibration whatsoever which I was quite surprised by. So uh, yep, now we're going to get the door card all refitted, um, obviously just a reverse, reversal of removal, so uh, I'll speed this bit up for you. So there we go, door cards all back on, all happy, all as it was. Like I said, that's why we don't bother with those speaker grills, they're behind there, you can't see them. You can just actually make out the uh, silver coloured tweeter now, because the old one had just a paper plastic one, a paper one, and new one's got a plastic one. Just behind the grill, you can just make it out. So there we go, so next up, let's get the uh, driver's door off, which I shall do a speed up version of now for you, because it's exactly the same as the... Um, passenger door, just an extra plug on the light switches. So, <coughs> obviously one of the first differences is you're going to have your plug on the back of here which in my case has got, excuse the focus, um, a module attached to it for my electric wing mirrors which aren't standard on their 2014. Excuse the back camera work here. You can just see the blue wires there. There we go. So we need to unplug that now.
So, same as before, let's remove the speaker. Speaker mount back in. Okay, so this time I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with this, just to make it a bit wider. I've got a really small electric tester actually, it's got a nice small head to it. Just poke it into there, slightly bend in, Let them open a bit, you can see, just to give it more of a gap. There we go, a bit more open now. So, wires attached to this one. Let's get it all plugged in. Okay, so it's all done. Uh, just tested it, it's working fine. Just gotta get this door card back on now. Do another quick video, quick fast forward video of me putting it back on. And that'll be the job done for the day. Uh, just to point out that this module just here, I'm just gonna do a video on it. Um, because a lot of people have asked for it. Um, what it is is the, um, it's the wing mirror folding module which wasn't standard on the 2014 Qashqai. Uh, it's off AliExpress, it's not easy to fit. I'm just going to do a quick video explaining what wire goes where, so look out for that somewhere else in the uh, video section. So there we have it folks, it is done. Um, God, seeing this, some lovely weather today. But yeah, door card back on. Again, you don't even know. <laughs> no one would even know that you've done it. Um, I, made, oh, I may upgrade the back ones at some point, I'm not sure, from one to the main ones, because that's where I am. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's pretty easy. Let me get this side, there we go. Pretty easy uh, modification to do. Just a little bit of effort getting your door cards off. Once, I mean, you saw, not showing off, but I now know how to do it. Once you do it once, that's easy. You just remember how to do it, so it'll be sort of second nature to you. Um, so yeah, um, I'd recommend 
maybe keeping hold of your original speakers in case you wanted to use them again because if you come to sell the car you want to put the uh, originals back in and keep your upgraded ones but that was it like i said at the start of the video i know it's been a bit of a long one i'm afraid but um i will put a link underneath for the speakers and the adapter rings with the wires um, i tell you what getting those adapter rings with the wires was a bit of a lifesaver it saved a heck of a lot of well not a heck of a lot of work but a lot of wiring work that i would have needed to do otherwise so uh yes that's it happy motoring enjoy your music and as ever guys get on the cash bag guy facebook page if you see me out and about give me a beep it might be my wife driving she uses the car sometimes but give me a beep if you see me um like and subscribe to the video helps the channel out a great deal uh coming up next uh, there will be the video about this uh, folding wing mirror module and beyond we've got a few more wish products coming and maybe a few more did you know cash cars because they seem to be the biggest hit but uh, as usual thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video